a guest lunch uh, trading quips with Stuttering John. Uh-oh. Oh, They're both Stuttering going, John hey, I'm guy. Joey Botafuco. <laughs> well, you know, Jim Carrey now. You, in the old days, we could keep him waiting when he was on In Living Color. Remember, uh, there was a time we were out in Los Angeles doing one of those round-robin things in one of those big Grammy rooms. Yeah. And Jim Carrey sat off to the side and waited for us for at least an hour. That's right. true. That is true. And we've had Jim Carrey on a couple of years ago. We did him a favor and let him come on here. But now he's a big star. He can blow us off. <laughs> now he's good enough to. I think one of the nicest things we ever did was to admit that we were wrong about Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Let me tell you something. When I first, uh, let me uh, say this. Well, let, bring in Jim <laughs> yeah. and let me say, say it to his face. face. <laughs> It'll be easier. Actually, it'll probably be harder. <laughs> Jim Carrey, the white guy from In Living Color, Ace Ventura. Pet detective. Pet detective. I just, I, <laughs> now the star of something called The Mask, the Mask. which looks really good. Angels with dirty faces. The special effects. The last awesome. mile. <laughs> Meet the monster. Let me see Jim. Oh, Where's the last oh, man? Big star. Where's big star Lesbos? Jim Carrey. Ace. <laughs> Ace Ventura. <laughs> Almost <Ventura. laughs> me Lesbos. So wait a second. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm about to kiss your ass a little bit here. Cool. You know All right. All yeah. Right. You're about to get your ass kissed. Oh, I got no pimples today. Funny. Big star, same clothes. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Some things don't change. That's right. Anyway, it's so early, man. here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, uh, Jim Carrey always did a good job on In Living Color. He's but, been doing a good job for a long time. But to make I'm that a solid break, performer. Yeah, and you know, all those black guys. Where are they now? Where are they? <laughs> Isn't that the greatest? Seriously. <laughs> Look at Damon's hey, man, again. just because Bobo wants to pay me more money. You know, Damon you know, Wayans, all his Damon talent, are so better than funny. that. All his scary talent, <laughs> eh, we'll put one white guy on, all the black people, hip hop <laughs> dancing, everything. And Jim is uh, obviously. I got quite good at that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I, I used to watch you do oh, that. that little thing at the end where they all had to dance By the last funny. season, man, I was going for it. And Living Color was really weird. There was always like one or two white performers. Jim was always consistently there and consistently yeah. white. Consistently White, right, right, and he was right. always there, but at the end of the show, they'd always have some white guys. And then they'd bring out rap stars to rap, and all the black people would get up and dance. And in the beginning, you'd see Jim wouldn't really dance that much. And then all of a sudden, but I remember guess... remember, it used to be a circle thing where each one would get out and do a little thing, and yeah. then they'd get to the white guy. Yeah, yeah. and it was always awkward for go, Jim, because he's not... thank you, know, you. Yeah, he doesn't want to dance. It was always like, uh, I just want to sit this out. So then you'd do some goofy little dance that yeah. looks stupid. Something but, comical. Yeah, right, not real dancing. Of course. Because what comic wants to be dancing? Right, he's not known exactly. for dancing. You didn't exactly concentrate. It wasn't so, part of the contract. So all these black guys who concentrate on their dancing now are not in comedy anymore. So there you go. But Damon was the first <laughs> one to leave because he was going to do movies now. Oh, yeah, he's still waiting. He's, I think he's going to be an extra on Ace Ventura, too. Well, he's got a movie out. Blank uh, Man. Oh, Blank boy. Man's coming Blank Man going to be big movie. I saw the previews of that one. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the previews? Another I haven't seen turkey. It. I just saw the I'm not kidding. Uh -oh. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's uh, talk I'm so here. tired, man. Yeah. So I never get I. any sleep when I come on this show. Well, you're a big I just, star. I toss and turn. Yeah, yeah, you're all nervous. Like, I got, I oh, got, yeah, this is a big deal I, I rented for you. one of those adult videos, you know, just to take the edge off. Well, Jim used and to be. When I ran out of towels, I, I closed my eyes and I just. <laughs> I we just used to be sleep. the ones who were doing Jim a favor because Jim's movie career, you, you didn't have an excitement. You, you, weren't you in Earth Girls Are Easy and some yes. stuff like that? That's none of your damn business. All right, no. good. I'll okay. stay out of my personal <laughs> right. affairs. No, Jim was like, not like a, a lead role or anything, no, but he'd have. Not hard no, but I'm saying he would do some movies once in a while, but nothing big had broken. I told you, and I didn't realize how young he is. He's been around for a long time. Time, but he started when he was 12 or something. 15. That's right. <laughs> I know. Now I know. Now I'm you in a weird a position of knowing everything about biology. Jim. Yeah, oh. right. Spoiled child actor. Used to be Jim had to know everything about me. Right. All right. So. And he's Canadian, which I didn't know. I hate that about him. <laughs> I hate when Canadians Why come to this country. Why are these Canadians so funny? Right. Right. Anyway, just going down for vacation. <laughs> so listen to this. So you know, Jim goes ahead and they hire him for something called Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which must have been the worst script ever <laughs> written on the planet Earth, or but any other planet for that matter. The thing I liked Besides about Heaven's it was Gate, now maybe. he says, yeah. oh, I decided to take it as long as they let me work on the script. Right. <laughs> and most guys say that and they get thrown right out of the movie. It's, uh, right. yeah. Well, let me say something. It sounds kind of corny, but... Uh, and the guy who true. directed Ace Ventura, Tom uh, Shadiak? Shadiak. Shadiak. Yeah. I had seen his film right out of college. It was about penises. Uh huh. Right? <laughs> have you seen that film? Yes, I have. Right. Yeah. So you were probably uh, nervous Frank about. Einstein, the college years? Right. So you must yeah. have been nervous even about him directing. I, I was terrified, frankly. A exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> and everyone in Hollywood must have passed. I think Judd Nelson passed on Ace Ventura, Ooh. Pet Detective, okay? <laughs> so, uh, listen. Jim says, okay, I'll do this. For well, what? I, how much did you get paid? 100 grand or something? 
Uh, uh, no, you got paid about four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred thousand dollars. That's yeah, the going rate in Hollywood for your for first an, movie. Okay, for a no-name yeah. star. Well, that's what Luke Perry got for his first movie. Okay. Four hundred. Everyone gets four hundred thousand. Why is that's, Robin in the cubicle there? Because if she was in here, she'd probably rape you right now. <laughs> you really? become so I like big. big. She'd stars. be all over. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really funny. <laughs> Isn't that the, the 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 gag that killed Houdini? <laughs> she never thought you were handsome until Noble you got that. Chamber. Until you got that seven million dollar paycheck. Suddenly you look a lot better. You're a leading man. Pressed right up against the glass there. She'll be in here. Here later. <laughs> All right, listen to me. So, Jim gets this script, Ace Ventura. It's a yeah. real dog of a script. He and fixes it. Well, all I know is your performance in it was brilliantly funny. It was, Thanks. I mean, you... How much I, did we talk about how bad that movie was going to be? And I said the movie was going to bomb. Ripping me and I even, <laughs> said, I even said when the movie was a hit, I said it's a fluke. Uh -huh. If these parents are bored, they don't There's know what to bring their kids. nothing else to take their kids to. So I got a copy of this finally. And hey, I kids, see it. let's go see Schindler's List. Right. <laughs> Not that Ace Ventura. <laughs> but, Anything but that. Right. So I watch this Ace Ventura, and I'm laughing my ass off. Yeah. I mean, it's really funny. I mean, it's Thanks. like it's like funny, like like... It's, it's fun. It's incredibly okay. funny. So then I said, well, maybe I'm insane. Dangerous. Yeah. On the edge. I said, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just in a good mood because I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, I haven't seen a movie in a long time. I give it to my father. <laughs> I said, you got to watch Jim Carrey in this movie, yeah. Ace Ventura. you got to watch this. He goes, I'll watch anything. I said, I said <laughs> even Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura? Yes, I'll watch. He, watched, he goes, boy, that guy's funny. I mean, he's, he could take... I said, that's why they're going to pay him $7 million a movie. <laughs> if he could take a crummy movie... Yeah. If he could take a bad movie and make it good, this guy's big. Now they're even talking. And Jim talking. kept sending messages. Give it a chance. Yeah. Give it a chance. Yeah, I was no trying to tell you guys, please, just go see it. So now. Put a, put a baseball cap on. That's right. So now you have hit it because now people realize that really it was Jim. It wasn't the it director. Was Jim Carrey. Believe me, it wasn't the director. I've seen the, I've seen the editing on that and everything else. Oh, God. I, there were now, moments Tom in there that should have been. Job. Tom did, did an okay. Job. Tom did a, a, a very nice job. Yeah. I would work with Tom, no question. You're going to work with him again? Yeah. Oh, if okay. I can. Yeah, sure. Then he must have did a good yeah, job. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, right. No, no, no. But he really did an okay job. But people say sometimes it's the director, you know, edited it up the right way, made him look funny. Believe me, this was not the case. It was the performance. It was a, perfor it was a low budget affair. It wasn't like they f filled it with special effects or anything. You yeah, saved but we sat that down movie. At the beginning you of that made movie. the money on the movie. All right, it was me. It was. <laughs> it was hard for you to say that. <laughs> Damn it. Right. You broke me down. Right. So, so now, now, all of a sudden, now this is the best story of all. <laughs> they don't sign him for a sequel oh, for Ace best. Ventura. Yeah. Which they could have gotten you for another 400000 No, you they been... signed me for a sequel for Ace Ventura. Oh, they did? We renegotiated that. Oh, how do you notice, do that? Notice how I stuttered when I said that we re yeah, right. re renegotiated that. Oh, you did. <laughs> so the point is <laughs> that you... Oh, yeah, it was Keanu Reeves <laughs> I was reading about the other day. They didn't sign him for a sequel to Speed. They did sign Jim. Okay. Believe me, they can get anybody to play that stupid movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, now that Keanu Reeves that. now has convinced himself <laughs> he's the reason that Speed... Hey, he's Speed's a great movie, box. but that's the case where the director made the movie. Huh. Your case I, is different. You made that movie. Me when they're like, uh, you know, <laughs> on the brink of death. Yeah, no. joking. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, that bothers me too. Yeah. Keanu Reeves is, is this under is a, a bus. crazy situation, huh? Yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> under a bus and he's joking. Yeah, he's joking. <laughs> he's yeah. got a line. Right. <laughs> Santa Claus is more believable than Keanu Reeves is. What are these actor. Firestone tires? <laughs> Keanu Reeves was it was t uh, Bill and Ted's Adventure under a bus. <laughs> it was the same actor, same, no range, nothing. Oh, now listen. He just didn't get to say as much. Right. You're so, crazy, man. You're on the cutting edge. I absolutely am. <laughs> right, There's nobody sacred. Me. Listen to me. Yes. Okay. So, you've done well for yourself. Now, all of a sudden, anytime you read anything about you in the papers, how much money you make. Yeah. Because what's going to happen? How poor in, I was. No. What's going to happen in your career now <laughs> is you are going to get movies. Oh, he's gotten them. But you're going to get not only comedies. You're a good serious actor. I can see it in you. You want to be serious? Yeah. You're going to be oh. like a Tom Hanks. You want to like be to him? You could have played that retard Gump, right? <laughs> I, that's yeah, do me. your do, that's do me your impression. Ten o'clock in the morning. Do an impression of a retard. Go ahead. My impression of a yeah, retard. Yeah, like Gump, like Gump. Uh, more lead paint, please. See, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> and of course, uh, your well, money. You know, he's going to be in Batman Three. Oh yeah, what's that all about? That might be <laughs> a dog. Taking over the role a, that know, Robin Williams Cape dropped. Guy yeah, be around. careful about that one. Why? What's I don't know. Happen? Uh, I don't know. You're like the soothsayer this morning. No, Batman. Val like, Kilmer I coming in as Batman. Danger. That I don't see Val Kilmer as a bad <laughs> Batman. I just <laughs> think they don't know what they're doing with Batman. They don't concentrate enough on I'm the Batman. I'm excited about it, though. I think it, it's it's like it's. Well, you'll like be good three, as the Riddler. Three actors that are kind of like just everybody coming into their own in the last year or so, so. So what do they pay on a Batman? If they're paying you seven million for well, the mask they got you cheap, right? Yeah. The mask looks real good. Yeah. 
What is that about? Like some guy with a mask? Yeah. And what happens to you when you put on the yeah, mask? He goes crazy. Get superpowers? He goes nuts. Do you get superpowers? Uh, somewhat, yes. Is he yes. evil? Uh, no. Yeah, he looks evil. Yeah, I don't Basically, know. the mask brings out the suppressed side of your personality. Uh -huh. For me, it's uh, this maniac Fred Astaire on acid lover type. Hmm. So you're a regular guy, like a nebbish. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you get this ancient mask. Right. You put it on and it turns yeah. you into different characters. Yeah, I send away uh, box tops. This will be a hit because I saw the makeup no. and everything. Yeah, it's great. I just find this mask. Where did they find those teeth? Those teeth? Yeah. Those are, those mine. are Jim's I had, teeth, I had uh, Ryan, I'm for this sorry. show. Yeah, would you mellow out? <laughs> wow. Oh, geez. Jeez. So, um, if I wanted to be insulted, I could have gone on Regis and Kathy <laughs> Lee. I was working on a movie called The Condom where you put it on and it had magical powers. Is that right? But nobody touched it, so <laughs> I guess it's sort of like the mask. The and green then, penis. And after you're done with the mask, then what movie is coming? That's the one they signed for $7 million, yeah, right? Yeah, then I'll do Ace 2 and Mask 2. If they You've want already to do done one. Dumb and Dumber? Or whatever. No, wait that, a second. What is, what is the dumb one you did dumber. for New Line for $7 million? Dumb and Dumber. Now, this is a great story. Uh-huh. This is the story where now you'd been signed for like $400,000. They had come to you, <laughs> and you wanted to do Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. And you said you would do it for like four hundred grand. Yeah. And they said, nah. I said I would do it for a million, and then... Right, right. They said a million, and they went, oh, a million? We're not paying Jim Carrey a million. Who the hell does he think he is? <laughs> then Ace Ventura comes out. They see how good it is. They see how much money. It makes it $52 million the first weekend or right, something. Yeah. And they go, um... Jim, would you do Dumb and Dumber for a million? He goes, you know, screw you. <laughs> so then they had to pay you seven million bucks, right? Yeah, like uh, seven, six days later. Do you get that in one lump check, or do you have to get it in three installments, like the beginning of the movie, the middle of the movie, and then the end of the you movie? You get paid as you go along. Whoa. But yeah. when you, I mean, can you imagine the pay? Was it three installments? Uh, no, it's weekly. Weekly? It's weekly. So it's like a million dollars a week? Uh, mm, Half a million a week. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> and you start uh, fooling around with the girls oh, on the man. set. Yeah, now what happened? You dumped your wife, and then you dumped your wife. <laughs> yeah, of course. During Ace. He knew. Smart. He knew. You did it during no. Ace before you got the $7 million. Now, that's, a, now that's the smartest smart thing. Man. How did you know how to do that? Seriously, be honest. Actually, it wasn't a choice. I just I woke up one morning, and I, and I looked, uh, looked over at her, and I thought, you know, I just wish I can do her better. Butt what do you think? Hairier. I wish her butt you know? was hairier. You wanted a guy. Oh, wow. And I was just changed. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jim, and, and Jim was I, smart. I realized that I had been living a lie. Really? You yeah. wanted men? Yes. If no, I wanted, no, he's if going out with that. I'd go to the Seaquarium, you know what I mean? Who's that piece of ass you're dating now? What's oh. her name again? I forget her name. Um, I forget it too. Uh, well, oh. I call her Beard. No, come on. <laughs> well, who's that piece of ass you're, you were getting an unbelievable. You never got caliber of woman like this. Who, he, you know, listen, he got out of his marriage. Well, if you yeah. don't know, man, if you haven't done... No, your what is her name? Think. Come on. Like, Laura? Fred, what's her name? I'm trying to... It, <laughs> is it a trying Laura? to jog his memory. Damn. Come on, come on. You're going out with some well, hot actress. Beautiful. No, who's the hot that. actress you're dating? You don't uh, have it I written wanted... down in there, Howard? It's just uh, a... Wait, it's I got it in the Globe article. Yes, it's a, I do. It's a beard. Hold on, I got it in the Globe. I, I'd go to a deli if I wanted lots of I got this whole article on you. Jim Carrey's turned into a real monster, say, movie insiders. I don't see you doing that, but it's possible. Yeah, I could go Did you see this article? No, what is that? The star? Yeah. No, this one says the globe. The globe. Oh. oh, the globe, yeah. Uh, since Jim Carrey became a star, mm -hmm. Jim wants to be catered to now that he's a big movie star. <laughs> what? Instead of, instead of asking this people... This is an outrage! Jim orders them around. It's not, could you get me a soda? It's, get me a soda now. Now, read that again! Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, the guy's a big star. Get me a soda! <laughs> get me a soda, you bastard. That's your job. <laughs> he used to say... Do I add now at the end? Gary, bring Jim water now! <laughs> <laughs> Since skyrocketing to big screen stardom after years of TVs in living color, Jim has left his wife and is now dating Picket Fences beauty Lauren Holly. Oh, oh man. Yeah. How'd you get... How'd you... Oh, it's man. It's just a beard. Oh, bull. <laughs> it is. There's no way you're a homo. I'm serious. No. No. No, I'm, not, I'm tired. I'm just tired of it. What? Now, let me ask you something. How yeah. did you... Like, okay, so you... Okay, so yeah, a lot of guys, you didn't have any kids or anything with your wife, right? Yes, she, I what, did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, oh must have been messy. So did she get any of the seven million? I hope not. Well, I'm not quite sure what she'll get. Oh, you mean you guys are still going through a oh, divorce? Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's still early. It's still fresh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> All she right. Hey, look. You, you know what? No, you, what? The bad thing is she might be due some of that uh, star money. You know, the, no, that's the, not in California. That's not in California? That's in New York. Oh. If you're married... I know all the divorce laws. <laughs> if funny. you're married in New York, you're mm -hmm. married in California. Yeah. A woman can say... Well, his stardom not is only worth. not only am I taking half of your money, but your stardom is worth now fifty million. So mm -hmm. you got to pay me twenty five million, even though you haven't made it yet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm so relieved. Yeah, I, it's going to be real nice. 
<laughs> hey, isn't it great to hear it's not all rosy for Jim? Mm, yes. <laughs> isn't it great? There is a little cloud. <laughs> there's a cloud hanging over Jim's head. <laughs> good. That's good. You and then be. there's that melanoma. <laughs> no, that's good. But it doesn't matter, right? Money. Does that make you feel better? Money's not that important. I have a growth in my pit. Ah, Howard, big deal. What I'm get it removed. reading. Yeah. What I'm reading is yeah. that Jim says his wife was drawing out of uh, drawing him out of his. Character? year, if you will. Right. He has to be into his character. Well, and my wife does that to me. Very, very into difficult his to live work. With. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta say, I'm very difficult to live with. Yeah, I have sure. a lot of baggage, and I just, you know, now when really? I Really? What I kind I of baggage? Gr- when I meet girls now, I just I just go, have you ever worked as a Sky Cab before? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of tags. You don't have a lot of baggage, do you really? Please be careful with the big trunk. You're not a bad look. You know, you look ten times better now since you know really? you're handsome. You're downright handsome now that you've made all this money. I, I find them exciting. Money makes out. you better looking. Jim. <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll get to the mask in a minute. Okay. Well, screw the mask. Let's get <laughs> yeah, to this right. very exciting life. Okay. This is exciting. That I think that's interesting oh, where you geez. paint yourself as this very serious person and when you're doing Ace Ventura, that takes a lot of concentration. Yeah, but and you know you what? have to leave your wife. Don't get into the Jerry Lewis syndrome. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jerry yeah. Ace Ventura, I had to leave my wife so I could get into Ace Ventura's character. <laughs> <laughs> Look I, at his I, holy I, I Christ, I am rich smile. Do you believe the smile on this guy? Oh, Look at the I'm smile. Rich. Man, am I rich. You know what? No matter what happens here, yeah. I'll still be rich when I I know. That's right. Does it make a difference? <laughs> it really doesn't. So did you buy anything cool? With uh, Not really. As you said, same clothes. You, you didn't buy a house? I, I have a 65 uh, um, Thunderbird. That's about it. A lot of guys do that. That's like cool. The classic You can bring his cool girlfriend around. No, and it's the... just a weekend thing, you know? Right. Something to smash up. No, no. You drive around in that. <laughs> Bang into people. And what do you got, like a bachelor pad? Them. Do you have a bachelor pad? Uh, well, I have a house. Ooh. Mm. Pool? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What do you do? Do you get them in the pool? <laughs> and they, do you get the girls in the pool and the thongs? You want a napkin, man? Oh, dude. <laughs> you salivate. Is it, you, know what, you know what one great philosopher once said? He said, you know why divorce is expensive? Because it's worth it. <laughs> oh, isn't, that the, isn't that it, Jackie? Didn't he say that? That's the exact quote. I mean, you are life. It'll be incredible. Do you know the kind of action? And don't marry this <laughs> new actress you're with. Do you know the action you're going to get? Oh, <laughs> Because you never got laid a lot when Wait you were a kid, right? You know what's funny? Did you get laid? When, how old were you? I I got all these numbers and stuff, and I never used yeah, them. Yeah, sure. I didn't. Yeah. Do you Have you had three girls at once yet? I'd call them up and like with, uh, with another voice, but... Yeah, no, you've had three girls at once. No, I haven't. Just <laughs> let them write Howard, for me. Now he's right. having the fun of casting. You know, he oh, gets to yeah. do all those casting calls. Is that right? You get you get to pick your co-stars? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Slay those eight by tens out. <laughs> mm. uh, y- uh, Yummy! <laughs> Let's uh, have her back. Hi, Sharon Stone. This is uh, Ace Ventura, Jim Carrey here. Um, we're thinking of you for a film, a biopic on myself. Uh. No, when you were young, you never got laid a lot, right? What age did you lose I your virginity? I always did okay. You were like, but you never got a real knockout. Um, no, they were, all, they were right. all right. First girl was kind of skinny. Right. Okay, yeah. but well, I like she that. Was, she was actually throwing up while we had sex. Really? <laughs> so, but, but I'm saying you were never a big ladies' man, right? Uh, I did okay. But why did you get married so young? Because uh, you couldn't believe a girl I was willing. God wanted me to. No. Why did you get married so young? Come on, be honest. <laughs> Uh, he wasn't this, working on any difficult roles. No, yeah. I just thought it was time. <laughs> you figured it was like the best thing to do right yeah. at that point. Yeah. It was the manly thing. Basically. Guys are basically stupid. Like everyone tells them, hey, it's you're time. supposed to get married now. Well, yeah. You yeah. have a picture in, in your head and you kind of And that's your it. life. Yeah. And you don't realize it goes on forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long time. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. In the Riddler. You make yeah. sure your girlfriend, the, Rid- the Riddler's girlfriend, should be skinny with huge cans <laughs> and lips like suction cups. Ooh. I just guess I'll let somebody else cast that one. What voice are you going to use for the Riddler? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, actually, have I to am, really but go- I'm not. Ga- I can't. Why? I can't. What, what will happen? No. Oh, oh. oh. They'll, they'll come down hard. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because if you reveal that, what they will happen? They don't want to reveal anything. Will it be like, uh, like Frank Gorshin? I could do those kind of roles. <laughs> hey, I'm the Riddler, you bastard. <laughs> hey, Batman, you bastard. A new character, Mop Top. Yeah, what do you do? Mop Top's in town. Come on. <laughs> hmm? You don't care if I ask about your personal life, do you? No, I don't. Okay, thanks. No, I don't. I don't want you to get offended. I'm totally now you're, prepared. All right, now you're a big star. <laughs> So wait a second. All right, never mind the first wife. So, for, so whatever, whatever that was, okay, that's water under the bridge. That's right, over with. You're going right. to pay and pay dearly for that. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. I don't care what your lawyer tells you. So, what? <laughs> so you got to pay a million dollars. You're going to pay and pay yeah. dearly. You no finally hit deal. it. Now it's all going out the window. But so what? You got your freedom and you got your stardom, and there's going to be a lot of more dough rolling in. Sure. All right. I have my work. All right. 
Does the Riddler voice sound like your first wife? No. That's what I would do. If I got a divorce. Batman! Total revenge. I no. think it was something about taking out the trash that ended the marriage. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, basically. You don't ask a big star to take out the trash. You couldn't no. believe. I'm going to tell you what happened to you, and you don't have to admit to this or not. Okay. Suddenly, your fame is skyrocketing. Right. You, you're on the set all day. People you're, are catering to you. Catering to you. You're it surrounded by before my fame skyrocketed. Okay, though. but you're surrounded on the set by beautiful women all the time. You're in a Hollywood environment. I understand that. Right. Suddenly, you come home, and like there you are, your wife's asking you to take out trash, and you're like, "Hey, wait a second. <laughs> what? I mean, no, that wasn't the whole thing. Did you have to hit her often? I oh. smacked her around. <laughs> smacked her around. Okay, good. Yeah. No, no. But See, was I was totally fulfilled in that arena. Right. <laughs> the smacking she was arena. Good, yeah. good for that. <laughs> no, be honest. She I mean, can take a punch, Jim. I felt okay about Jim, that. Jim, what you're saying is you felt you you felt like, hey, wait a second. There's a whole other world about out there. Pent up aggression or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just was not what. It just hey, you couldn't predict it. How old were you when you got married? Twenty-five. And, and you couldn't predict what it would be like at twenty-nine. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen to me. Really? No. You didn't know. You didn't know what fame was going to be like. No, I had no exactly. idea. I mean, seriously, if you went into into a movie called Ace Ventura: Pet Detective, yeah, and you were like doing the stuff I was doing in that movie, would you would you be expecting while you're doing that movie that that it was going to be huge? No, absolutely not. Of not that it was going to be huge. Yeah, and then that happens. It was it basically, you know, maybe a few people will see this or it'll destroy my career. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I just wanted it to set the mask up, basically. Right. You know? Just right. like hopefully people would like it. Okay. And, but, uh, you know, kind of went So crazy. you're feeling a lot of pressure now? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, man. No, you're not going to crack or anything, are you? No. But Jim's being uh, very serious right now. Well, scary. I he, had no I metal detectors here. Because he left his wife during Ace Venture. You'd think you'd hold on to the wife if you were insecure. I might have done that. I might have <laughs> held on to it. But then he says, hey, wait, this is going really well. I'm really good on this. You better unload her. Just which part? I mean, when did that, you know, the, the, the fate turn, you know, where you saw it was going to go well? Well, hey, yeah. When did you know Ace Ventura was going to You didn't even know <laughs> after the it was night done. of the premiere. I can't believe how good it is. I mean, it's really good. They start coming in with those quotes. Can you imagine? We're going to do 12 million this weekend. You, and do you know why that movie is good? Because if you had taken anybody else and put them in the role of Ace Ventura, that thing would have been a huge bomb. Agreed. Agreed? Mm hmm Okay. So now your life is unbelievable. You've got a <laughs> house, a bachelor pad. You're doing movies now on a regular basis. Do you see the kids? Yes, I do. Please. The kid. The kid. The yes, kid, okay. He will. He'll do oh, that yeah. whole father. He'll be a better father now. You know now. what? He'll be father of the year, Nick. Right, he will. <laughs> he will. A lot of guys become better. I know I'd be a better father if I was away That's from right. the kids. He'll now, get an award. Believe me, I would be. Yeah. So now... We appreciate them a lot more. And you and your girlfriend live together, or uh, are you se are you just living separate residences? Separate. So you're available for dating, as well as your regular girlfriend. Well, just while I'm in New York. No, but I mean, you will date, right, Jim? You you are still you are still very I'm much. I'm not dating a, right now. No. No, you're you're exclusive to one woman. Yeah, that's oh, the way I am. Yeah. Is she a model? How come I don't She's know? She's an her? actress. She was was what was she in? She was in a movie. She um, hot? Is she very hot? Uh, Sizzlin. Oh. What God. movie was it? Sizzler. <laughs> uh, you are lucky, man. Uh, uh, that was the Bruce Lee story, probably. Oh. Ooh. Yes, that was it. She was the Whoa. wife. Oh. Ooh. Hold it a second. Hold up. I got to think about it. <laughs> He's got to loosen his belt. Hold on, He's Hold on a second. That, that, come on. That's that's pretty major. The one in the Bruce Lee story? Yes. The one who plays Linda Lee? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, geez. There goes my rod. Funny sting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How come I'm still on radio? Why am I? Why is there no? Wh why are you still doing your Ace Ventura stings, pet man? Why can't I even see my script? <laughs> I was thinking about your script. Are you script. not making a movie? Yeah, making a movie. You are making a movie. Making a movie. Yeah. And, uh, You've got eight, 18 percent of the vote for, uh, yes, for governor. Yes, they're still <laughs> saying. Isn't it amazing? And it's I don't have a. It's so amazing to see the three of you lined up. And why am I not <laughs> sleeping with Bruce Lee? I love this. Or Bruce Lee's wife. Well, even Bruce <laughs> Lee. Why am I? Why am I you still sleeping with the same woman? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I thought when I wrote my book and it became a bestseller, number one on the bestseller list, I thought I'd be with penthouse pets. <laughs> have you got a penthouse pet yet? No. You will. Well, I have kind of, you know, in one way. What do you mean? Two-dimensionally. Oh. Oh, well, please. <laughs> the way Never everyone else that. has. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now there's pressure on you because you've got to have the mask do well. But you know what? You really don't. You do one good movie in Hollywood, that'll carry you for 35 pictures. <laughs> It really will. Ask Bruce Willis. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Bruce Willis. Do you know Bruce Willis? You hanging with him? No, I don't. Are you getting some cool friends out of this? 
Uh, I, I haven't changed. I mean, as really? far as my friends go, no. And you're no, not, and you're not being difficult changed. on the set or anything and ordering people around? Not being, really, occasionally. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah but the listen, Oscars I, haven't I, rolled I around off. yet where he'll do all those it. parties. You know, no, he's going to get... Strangle somebody that's not important. You're going to get... Uh, you, you wait and see. You're going to get Tom Hanks kind of roles. I was going to say, but he's also cool. going to get Tom Hanks's life where he and Steven Spielberg go on vacation Yeah, together. you're going to have that whole thing going, man. <laughs> Soon you're going to be too big to come on this show. In fact, oh, you might already scary. be too big to be on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I noticed you were in awe when I walked in. It yeah. was kind of... <laughs> How did it feel passing Chevy Chase right by? Oof. Like Chevy's standing still. <laughs> How do you mean? In what respect? In every respect. Every respect. Oh, <laughs> come on. He wishes well, he could have your career. Uh, it's just thing, great, you know? man. It's great. Who would have predicted? <laughs> Out of all those black guys in living color, they all thought they were better than you, didn't they? <laughs> now you can say it. Now you know what they're doing? They're chopping up the in living color shows just to show Jim Carrey sketches. Right. They're dancing the under graves, man. Yeah. Can dancing you believe it? They're cutting the black people out. <laughs> so now you got, you, you already, all right, now wait a second. Yes. Then, after Dumb and Dumber, now you've shot Dumb and Dumber already. Yes. That's all done. It's done. God. It's in the How can, many weeks did you have to work say. for the seven million? I mean, you had to memorize a script for like a week. That would be t ten weeks. Ten weeks? Ten weeks. Over Wow. Yeah. What is when that did, a week? I don't know. <laughs> Four million. Four million Roughly a week. 800,000. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> There's a man who knows. <laughs> Can you imagine that check? Oh, man. <laughs> I've got 800. I, I, oh, man. But you know, after taxes. Yeah, it's only like 400,000 after yeah. taxes, though. Right. So it's not that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 everybody right. else out exactly. there is going, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. a real. You know, a, a once lot the bloodsuckers get a hold of it. Yep. I understand. What do you got? You got a manager and an agent? I have managers, agents, lawyers. Really? A lot of people. Unbelievable. A lot of people. Got a PR guy? Yeah. Nobody's here with me now, though, are they? Uh, is that right? Did you come yourself? No, there's some people oh, out do you? there. Yeah, all of a sudden you got they're people. They're not here to protect me here. I remember the first time Jim Carrey was on our show. He was just sitting there by himself. I know, sitting against the wall. Yeah, where were those people then? <laughs> Waiting an hour to get on. I'm glad I made you wait. That'll be my story. I made Jim Carrey wait an hour. <laughs> it's good. You cut me off pretty abruptly, too. That's right. Yeah, we threw him out. <laughs> Last Thanks, time, man. And then, when you, and then when you were in here, uh, you hitched in. He hitchhiked here. Really? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now he takes That's a right. plane. I was naked. Too. You were naked. You had no clothes. You were like naked. a homeless. Yeah. So who's your uh, PR guy, Dennis Miller's brother? <laughs> no, he's my manager. Oh, he's your manager? Jimmy, yeah. Oh, you're still sticking with him? Jimmy You'll dump Miller. him. He's great. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Are you no. making moves already to dump him? Uh-uh. Dennis Miller's brother's a manager? Yeah. So Jim at one point, you know, when he was a little down and out, you know, whatever. <laughs> He uh, took on Dennis Miller's brother, uh -huh. but I think he's making plans to get him, <laughs> get rid of him. <laughs> I tell the truth. You got to dump him. You know, him. you're saying that just because Jimmy's out there and you no, know he's in you a cold know. sweat right now. He's got to be dumped. I mean, <laughs> this is cold it. Sweat. Why does my head get so greasy? Hey, tell him how um, Dennis Miller, Dennis Miller's sister is his maid. <gasps> he's got the whole Miller family yes. working for yeah, him. Jim yeah, Carrey, right. Jim Carrey has <laughs> a maid. It's right Dennis, Dennis Miller's Dennis sister. Dennis is his exactly. driver. Yeah, Dennis is his driver. <laughs> Pretty soon. Pretty soon, anyway. As soon as HBO dumps him. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, hey, come in here, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. There we <laughs> go he sounds again. just like Dennis Miller, too. Every time we oh, come yeah. here, you pull Jimmy. Oh, here Jimmy, there. man. Yeah, it's always good. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy? Look at you, you bastard. You got a come smile on, on your face see. like you just made $7 million <laughs> on your last movie. <laughs> and what movie? <laughs> Jimmy, you realize that you are not going to be with Notice Jim Carrey for the whole ride. Notice how now? Yeah, I mean, even Everything's Everything's changed. changed. Everybody dumps their people because they have to. You, he's got to get a higher-powered manager. Look at Roseanne. She had family. She threw him right out. Yeah. You realize. going to dump me? Hey, how you doing? You well, he says I should. Hi, Howard. Jackie. Howard says I should. Hey, why has your brother got such a bug up his ass about me? Well, here we, My brother this is you, like t no time has passed. <laughs> your brother thinks he's better no, than me. You remember the last time I was here with yeah. Jim? Yeah. Right. Years ago. Right. It's the first he thing does sound just like Dennis. Yeah, it's all right. Disregard that. <laughs> you know I think your brother's a you brilliant stand-up comic. You and Dennis put it back together, though. I don't know. I don't you think so. You put it back together. I don't think Come we on, are. Come on, you're the best of friends. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. I've always said nice things about Dennis. I he says nice things about you. Yeah, you know, this is different than the last time. He loves time. you. He went on about you last time I talked to him. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, this he is did the last... Seriously, I did thought he? you guys put it together. This is the last, hmm. time, uh, the last time you were here. We didn't even want to talk to Jim Carrey because he wasn't a big star yet, and so we spoke with you. So I'm going to give you two seconds. Everyone wants to speak to Jim no, Carrey I'm not, now. I'm not leaving now. But you realize <laughs> at some point Jim is going to have to give you the kiss off, and I hate to be the one to break the news <laughs> to you. You're not. A, are you a high-powered manager? <laughs> We're getting to that point. And you get a percentage uh, of Jim's income. I mean, now he's making seven million a picture. Percentage. He's going to say, "Wait a second. If I'm giving this guy a percentage, I'm giving." You got to see the checks, man. Yeah, it was okay when I was making a hundred dollars a week. It's painful. But I can, you know, I have a pretty short signature. It's hard to get through. Do you believe, Jimmy, how you... Um, I think we should split right here on the air. Yeah, I mean, you ought to break <laughs> up. Just freak Eric out. No. I got you, B. <laughs> just freak my partner out. I got you, B. Now, is Jim the biggest guy you got? Who else you got in your roster? 
Uh, we represent Keenan Wayans, Damon Wayans. Oh, all the uh, black guys from In Living Color. <laughs> Joel Hodgson from Mystery Science Theater. Oh, you do have Joel Hodgson. Yes. Oh, Alan boy. Wow, well, he's got to be a big uh, wage earner. Come on. That's right. Uh, Comedy Central paying big dollars Gary, for the Gary, you're talent. not getting me out of this chair, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to throw I you up. here, baby. Right. <laughs> so you're excited about Jim's uh, success. Very excited. Because you believed him from the beginning. Well, you got to remember, Jim and I go way back. Yeah, yeah. Good, so did he and his first match. wife, but believe me, he's got pretty good, too. <laughs> the God. handwriting's on the wall. Yeah, the handwriting's on the wall. <laughs> Howard is on. Oh, no, listen. Yeah. He's got to move on. You'll see. He'll need. He'll need different kinds of men. Who do you think I should get? First of all, I'll tell you what's going to happen to you. The next time you do a movie, it's called the Chinese water technique. Tine, Chinese water torture. Jim will be on the set, and a high-powered manager is going to be there because one of his clients is working on the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jim will be walking around, and he'll walk by and go, Hey, Jim, how you doing? Hey, why don't you come out with us tonight? And he'll send a limo for him. And Jim's going to be, Whoa, look at this look manager. At this. Sends a limo for me. This is what they do in Hollywood. That's already happened. No. Oh, I'm sure it has. And they pressure they a guy They pressure a guy into new management. Really? And yeah, you might be Jimmy, the best manager Jimmy in the world, but he won't recognize me. That I can't, can't, oh, is that right? Oh, he's got doing, you. We're doing oh, yeah, he's well got pictures. Really? We're doing pretty well for ourselves. Jimmy's right. got pictures. Oh, I don't know. What is it, Gary? We only have about 12 minutes left with Jim. Oh, suddenly uh, Jim uh, only has 12 minutes. Well, you know, he did the Today Show. Yeah. And now he's got to go do the CBS this morning. We're right in the middle. Oh, who are you doing the interview with, uh, Mark I'm, McEwen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He gets to do the goofy is, uh, interview. He gets to do the goofy interview. No, he'll yeah. probably talk to that Harry Smith or uh, right. Paul Azan. All right, I'll let me do this. A new ass. Let me take <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to go. A lot of humming and hawing. What is it, Baba Booey? You want to hear something really boom, wild? Boom. Hey, yeah. Um, boom, boom. You know, we had Schwarzenegger in here last week, and yeah. he had a pretty good crowd downstairs. Yeah. Uh, Jim's got a crowd downstairs. Oh, really? Got like fans? Yes, there's about, I don't know, you know, there's a good group of people down there waiting for Jim to come. Ask wow. him to pay 100 bucks, I'll let Isn't him touch this, him. Uh, near where Lennon fell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is right next door to the building, the Dakota. Um, and by the way, Jim, let me compliment you on your entourage. There's a hot blonde out there who was, is that right? who was introduced to me as Jim's assistant. Uh, not bad. Oh. Not bad, not shabby. Oh. Mystery woman. Now, where does she work out of? Your home? Yes. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't have a living girlfriend. <laughs> Jim. Well, I have an office in my Oh, home. yeah, I'm sure you do. That's oh, another man. room, Jim. Oh, it's, a, it's, another, it's, it's right next to the bedroom. Room. Oh, dude. An office. No, oh, man. When we get together, I'm too tired from sex. Let me, let me smell your hand. I'm serious. Let me what? smell it. Let me smell your hand. What do you mean, why? No, he's You're just going to smell me. Yeah, come here, come here. Wait, All right. Yeah, watch this. Guilty. That's pure Jim. <laughs> You're a smoker? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Because the smoke kind of drowns out the smell of the girls. <laughs> he can tell your fortune. Well, there you go. Sniffing. Interesting. Yeah. All that energy and yet yeah. a smoker. Oh, like a fiend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like a fiend. I knew he had a drug problem. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you do Although a I'm trying not to have a drug problem. You ever done heroin? Trouble. No. Really? Uh -uh. Coke? Uh-uh. Ever do uh, lewds? No. Acid? Yeah. Oh, you have? Uh-uh. I knew it. When I was young. I knew it. He has a drug problem. Mm. Pretty soon we'll be reading about him. That, ha that smell on your when hand. It's cigarettes. I smelled women. I just wanted to stay home and watch McLeod's makeup separate from his face. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else wanted to go out. That was, that's like, the no, thing to do. I don't think so, man. Hey, we're on acid, man. <laughs> let's go visit all your friends. So you, so let's sum up. Let's sum up, because I know you got to get out of here. Obviously, you have things to do. We're very busy. <laughs> Obviously, it's not like the last time you came in here. We had nowhere to go. this morning. Pretty big. That's it. CBS This Morning will be, uh, of course, the mask will open on Friday. Yes. Looking for a big opening. A big I think premiere it's somewhere? Uh, I'm not sure. Going to take your new girlfriend there? Thursday night somewhere. To the well, premiere? Never know. What will she wear? Uh, I don't know. She's always, you know, freaking out about that. What should I wear to the premiere? Where'd what you meet I this wear girl? The Where'd you meet her? How about some newspaper? How yeah. about on the set? Uh, uh, well, how'd you meet her? Uh, yeah, on the set. Well, of what? Dumb, Dumb and, and Dumber. Dumber. Oh, really? She's in mm -hmm. it? Oh, I yeah. can't wait to see that. Are there love scenes in Dumb and Dumber, or is it PG kind of thing? Well, yeah, it'll be PG-13, yeah. Remember the love what? scenes were in his trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> they should have shot what was going on in the trailer. I would have paid I would have paid 18 bucks to see that. <laughs> so oh, the two of you... Go wicked behind trailer. your cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> behind your protective glass coating. Is that your plan, though, Jim, to hump every co-star? <laughs> uh, oh, man. He looks at the co-star before he oh. signs. Right. I mean, is, that, is that the plan here? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, Who's your co-star in no, the I Batman? So. Oh, no, come on. Yes, no. it is. Yet okay, maybe Val. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Don't you? When you work, seriously, people tell me about this. When you work closely. Val's pretty attractive. He is. When you work on a movie or, like, like you know, when you work on something intensely, there is, like, set romance because you work sure. so intense with We're each other. We're together constantly. Because that's all I do now. Yeah, and you meet, like, super-looking girls. 
Yeah. I mean, you don't even stop to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like Kenneth Keith Callum back now. Yeah, you don't yeah. even. You don't even stop to like look at the girls who are just like hanging around, like assistants and stuff. You, although you might get it, dabble in that. I go for the mother load. You man. go for the actress, <laughs> You're darn tootin'. Oh man. Oh yeah. So you meet yeah. her, and like, how soon? Like, she didn't have a boyfriend or anything. No. So, like, you start talking, you realize you like each other. She didn't have a husband either? Yeah. She oh. had a husband. Yeah, oh. right. That was <laughs> yeah. movie. Jim Tucker. <laughs> no, no. That was, oh, it was, was long. It was over already. Yeah. So, like, you start talking and stuff, and you hit it off, and then, like, what do you do? You ask her on a date? I just go, do you want to do it or what? No, no, no. You go, you go hey, do you want to go out on a date, right? <laughs> I got an edge here. I can't No, do come on, Jim. What's way. the move? At what point do you, like, do, at what point do you say, hey, maybe you and I ought to go out together? I don't know how it happened. Like, you all start going out and going out to dinners and talking, and then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> wait, I mean, how does it work? I'm just curious. Is uh, that okay to ask? I mean, Dennis Miller's brother's I, I, looking at me like, I, I, he's I don't know how it happened. He's, yeah. he's, he's <laughs> curious. I don't remember how it happened. It was just, Oh, you that's know, a lie. You, just... you don't forget something like that after you've been in a marriage or a long okay, time. Okay, I cold cocked her and dragged her to the trailer. <laughs> I don't know. It's a caveman thing. <laughs> when you pick a movie. I do it on every show. <laughs> when you pick a movie now, do you read the script first or do you look at the casting list and then say who's going to be in this opposite? Yeah. <laughs> the script first? Script. Really? I would go through the casting list. Was it the script? <laughs> was it the script first? <laughs> yeah. It was the script. It was the script, Jim. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's ca recap. <laughs> first of all, recap. there is a okay. soundtrack now. Let's recap. summarize as my partner. All right. Let's summarize. Let's summarize. Let's summarize. First of all, the most important thing is we're proud of Jim Carrey That's that he's right. become a star. A little round of applause. Come on. He was hey, on TV hey, every hey, week, man. big deal. To make the move into movies was truly unbelievable. Now he's being Thanks. talked about as the next, you know, even serious actor. You're going to take some serious acting next role? Next Charlie Callis. Yeah, next Charlie Callis. <laughs> and we're still here. Now, when you get $7 million for Dumb and Dumber for Batman, they've got to pay you more. Am I correct? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, are we keeping quiet about this? No, I, I, it's just going to be a windfall. Huge it is. Windfall. And you get a percentage of the profits? <laughs> Yes? Uh, I get a back end. Do you? What they call the back end. Oh. Oh, I'd love the back end. What does that mean, Howard? <laughs> what the back end means, that uh, if the movie does well, he will receive uh, additional fees. Oh. Like, like Jack Nicholson received a back end deal. and, and He got a, he had a front end and he a had, back end. Well, Jim has a front the merchandising. end and merchandising of Riddler right. face, all this amazing. kind of thing. The guy that is carving this toy for, for Kenner came to my house and actually carved it in front of me. That's got to get a guy all pumped up Look about himself. Look at that, they're carving Look at me, they're carving me. They don't know what to do with me now. Now, <laughs> before, never, nobody wants to be here. Toy. Now they're carving me for <laughs> a toy. <laughs> and meanwhile, Frank Gorshin is banging his head against the wall somewhere because he got $250 to be in the TV show. <laughs> and that blonde assistant, how long has she been working out of your house? Uh, well, she's been with me for about t a year. Oh, mm -hmm. super. No love a between year. you two? No. I mean, love, as in. What's know, her name, by the way? Let's bring her in before you leave Linda, from CBS. Linda. Well, Linda, come in here. Say, you got to see woman. this. You got to yeah, see the mystery. I didn't see her. Oh, she shows up as the mystery woman in all these articles and stuff. Oh, you know? is that right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, you guys got to leave. Okay, you got to leave. What? We can't Aww. bring Linda in. No, we got to go to CBS this morning. Can I? Do oh, you do. A okay. Yeah, it's all very right. important national. Okay. All right. I it's understood. my son's birthday, Lake. Can understood. I say happy birthday, my son. Uh, no. If you want to say happy birthday, son, call him on the phone, like Jim has to do with his son. All right, there you go. He would have been born. Okay, listen. Jim. <laughs> Are we re recapping still? Yeah, no, congratulations Somewhere. on all your success. I really am uh, very happy for you. You Thank are a you. super talent. And I, I believe that your next big movies will, um, will be your serious movies as well, because I think there's a lot of That'd talent here. Hey, there's Linda. What do you mean? No, no, hey, no. Hey, mystery woman. Hey, now, hey, you're always linked to Jim, is that right? Well, sometimes. Are you in love with Jim? No, no I'm not in love with Jim. Are you Jim. married? <laughs> No. So you are a single woman working at a Jim's house? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim never puts the moves on, huh? No. Really? No, Nothing has ever happened. Can't wait to read the book. I make lewd comments every now and again. That's about it. I know. Well, you're very lucky. You've uh, hooked up with the right star. <laughs> Is that a pubic hair? <laughs> um, ever, seen Jim, ever seen Jim nude? Uh, many times. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, oh. I, I work that way. Uh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. It's All right. Um, let's review. <laughs> How much more review is there? Yeah. And let's yeah, review. Is this? <laughs> they carved like Jim's like face. 60 or <laughs> they carved Let's Jim's face at his house. Of Jim Carrey. They carved Jim Carrey's face at his house. Yes. All right. His next uh, movie will net him $15 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll never see you again. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> is that the other? <laughs> <laughs> will we see you again, Jim? Sure.
All right. Looking forward I to the match. Here. I really look. Do you? Yeah. I can never tell by the look no, on. No, uh, it's, it's a frightening thing. It's a frightening it? prospect. All right. But of it's course, good I never for sleep you. before it's I come here. It is good for it's you. It's like last night, about 4 a.m. I was just so desperate, I took a handful of sleeping pills. Really? They brought me to the hospital, pumped my stomach, and I, I came here. <laughs> That's it. That's it. At least you didn't end up in another man's arms. I know. Congratulations on all all your success because you deserve it. The guy's really unbelievably talented. And um, uh, we'll uh, take a break, Rob, and come back and do the news. I want to thank Jim Carrey and, of course, Dennis Miller's brother. Jim. No, no, you don't have to say Jim. Dennis Miller's brother. I don't even know my name. Sorry. Who is? You don't even know my name. I know your name, but it's more important that you're Dennis Miller's brother. Jim Miller, who, of course, uh, is uh, Dennis Miller's brother. And he is Jim's manager right now. Yes. Right Right now. Right now. All right. Today. Yeah. Before Jim dumps him. I'm under hypnosis. I understand. Uh, congratulations, and we'll be back right after these words. All right, see you later. Do come back again. Okay. All right. Jim, how'd it go? How'd it go? <laughs> oh, wasn't that bad? Uh, well, I heard. Jimmy, do something. Uh, <laughs> all right. Somebody get the car. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Okay. See ya. Get Jim Carrey in quick. Why has he been waiting? No, he's just tra- he's in the guest lounge uh, trading quips with Stuttering John. Uh-oh. Oh, They're both going, John "Hey, I'm guy. Joey Butterfuco." <laughs> well, you know, Jim Carrey. Now, you, in the old days, we could keep him waiting when he was on in Living Color. Remember, uh, there was a time we were out in Los Angeles doing one of those round robin things in one of those big Grammy rooms. Yeah. And Jim Carrey sat off to the side and waited for us for at least an hour. That's right. true. That is true. And we've had Jim Carrey on a couple of years ago. We did him a favor and let him come on here. But now he's a big star. He can blow us off. <laughs> now he's good enough to. I think one of the nicest things we ever did was to admit that we were wrong about Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Let me tell you something. When I first uh, let me uh, say this. Well, let, bring in Jim <laughs> yeah. and we let me say, say it to his face. face. <laughs> It'll be easier. Actually, it'll probably be harder. <laughs> Jim Carrey, the white guy from In Living Color, Ace Ventura. Pet detective. Pet detective. I just, I, <laughs> now the star of something called The Mask, the mask. which looks really good. Angels oh, with wow. dirty faces. The special effects. It's the last awesome. mile. <laughs> Meet the monster. Let me see Jim. Oh, Where's the Lesbos, man? Big star. Where's big star Lesbos? Jim Carrey. Ace. <laughs> Ace Ventura. <laughs> Ace Ventura. <laughs> Almost me Lesbos. <laughs> so wait a second. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm about to kiss your ass a little bit here. Cool. You know All right. All yeah. Right. You're about to get your ass kissed. Oh, I got no pimples today. Funny. Big star, same clothes. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Some things don't change. That's right. Anyway, it's so early, man. here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, uh, Jim Carrey always did a good job on In Living Color. He's but, been doing a good job for a long time. But to make I'm that a solid break, performer. Yeah, and you know, all those black guys. Where are they now? Where are they? <laughs> Isn't that the greatest? Seriously. Look at Damon's hey, man, <laughs> just because Bobo wants to pay me more money. You know, Damon you know, Wayans, all his Damon talent, are so better than funny. that. All his scary talent, eh, we'll put one white guy on, all the black people, hip hop <laughs> dancing, everything. And Jim is uh, obviously. I got quite good at that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I, I used to watch you do oh, that. that little thing at the end where they all had to dance By the last funny. season, man, I was going for it. And Living Color was really weird. There was always like one or two white performers. Jim was always consistently there and consistently yeah. white. Consistently White, right, right, and he right. was always there, but at the end of the show, they'd always have some white guys. And then they'd bring out rap stars to rap, and all the black people would get up and dance. And in the beginning, you'd see Jim wouldn't really dance that much. And then all of a sudden, but I remember guess... remember, it used to be a circle thing where each one would get out and do a little thing, and yeah. then they'd get to the white guy. Yeah, yeah. and it was always awkward for go, Jim, because he's not... Thank you, know, you. Yeah, he doesn't want to dance. It was always like, uh, I just no. want to sit this out. So then you'd do some goofy little dance that yeah. looks stupid. Something but, comical. Yeah, right, not real dancing. Of course. Because what comic wants to be dancing? Right, he's not known exactly. for dancing. He didn't exactly concentrate. It wasn't so, part of the contract. So all these black guys who concentrate on their dancing now are not in comedy anymore. So there you go. But Damon was the first oh, one to leave because he was going to do movies now. Oh, yeah, he's still waiting. He's, I think he's going to be an extra on Ace Ventura 2. Well, he's got a movie out. Blank uh, Man. Oh, Blank boy. Man's coming Blank Man going to be a big movie. I saw the previews of that one. <laughs> you saw the previews? Another I haven't seen turkey. It. I just saw the I'm not kidding. Uh-oh. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's uh, talk I'm so tired, here. man. Yeah. So I never get any sleep when I come on this show. Well, you're 
I big just, star. I toss and turn. Yeah, yeah, you're all nervous. Like, I got, oh, I got, yeah, this is a big deal I, I rented for you. one of those adult videos, you know, just to take the edge off. Well, Jim used and to be. When I ran out of towels, I, I closed my eyes and I just. <laughs> I we just used to be sleep. the ones who were doing Jim a favor because Jim's movie career, you, you didn't have an exciting. You, you, weren't you in Earth Girls Are Easy and some yes. stuff like that? That's none of your damn business. All right, good. Okay. Stay out of my personal affairs. No, Jim was like, not like a lead role or anything, but he'd have. Not hard. No, but I'm saying he would do some movies once in a while, but nothing big had broken. I told you, and I didn't realize how young he is. He's been around for a long time, but he started when he was 12 or something. 15. That's right. <laughs> I know. Now I know. Now I'm you in the weird the position of knowing everything about biology. Jim. Yeah, oh. right. Spoiled child actor. Used to be Jim had to know everything about me. Right. All right. So. And he's Canadian, which I didn't know. <laughs> I hate that about him. I hate when Canadians <laughs> come to this country. Why are these Canadians so funny? Right. Right. Anyway, just going down for vacation. <laughs> so listen to this. So you know, Jim goes ahead and they hire him for something called Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which must have been the worst script ever <laughs> written on the planet Earth or but any other planet for that matter. The thing I liked Besides about Heaven's it was Gate, now maybe. he says, yeah. oh, I decided to take it as long as they let me work on the script. Right. <laughs> and most guys say that and they get thrown right out of the movie. It's, uh, right. yeah. Well, let me say something. It sounds kind of corny, but... Uh, and the guy who true. directed Ace Ventura, Tom uh, Shadiak? Shadiak. Shadiak. Yeah. I had seen his film right out of college. It was about penises. Uh huh. Right? <laughs> have you seen that film? Yes, I have. Right. Yeah. So you were probably uh, nervous about. Frankenstein, the college years? Right. So you must yeah. have been nervous even about him directing. I, I was terrified. Frankly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> and everyone in Hollywood must have passed. I think Judd Nelson passed on Ace Ventura, Ooh. Pet Detective, okay? <laughs> so, uh, listen. Jim says, okay, I'll do this. For well, what? I, f how much did you get paid? 100 grand or something? Uh, uh, no, you got paid about four hundred, four hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. That's yeah, the going rate in Hollywood for your for first an, movie. Okay, for a no-name yeah. star. Well, that's what Luke Perry got for his first movie. Okay. Four hundred. Everyone gets four hundred thousand. Why is that's Robin in the cubicle there? Because if she was in here, she'd probably rape you right now. <laughs> you really? become so I like big. big. She'd be all over. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really funny. <laughs> Isn't that the, the 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 gag that killed Houdini? <laughs> she never thought you were handsome until Nova you got that. Chamber. Until you got that seven million dollar paycheck. Suddenly you look a lot better. You're a leading man. Pressed right up against the glass there. She'll be in here later. <laughs> All right, listen to me. So Jim gets this script, Ace Ventura. It's a yeah. real dog of a script. He and fixes it. Well, all I know is your performance in it was brilliantly funny. It was, Thanks. I mean, you... How much and, did we talk about how bad that movie was going to be? And I said the movie was going to bomb. Ripping me and I even, <laughs> said, I even said when the movie was a hit, I said it's a fluke. Uh -huh. If these parents are bored, they don't There's know what to bring their kids. nothing else to take their kids to. So I got a copy of this it's finally. Like, hey, and I kids, see it. let's go see Schindler's List. Right. <laughs> Not that Ace Ventura. <laughs> but, Anything but that. Right. So I watch this Ace Ventura, and I'm laughing my ass off. Yeah. I mean, it's really funny. I mean, it's Thanks. like it's like funny, like like... It's, it's funny. incredibly okay. funny. So then I said, well, maybe I'm insane. Dangerous. Yeah. On the edge. I said, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just in a good mood because I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't seen a movie in a long time. I give it to my father. <laughs> I said, you got to watch Jim Carrey in this movie, yeah. Ace Ventura. you got to watch this. He goes, I'll watch anything. I said, I said <laughs> even Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura? Yes, I'll watch. He, watched, he goes, boy, that guy's funny. I mean, he's, he could take... I said, that's why they're going to pay him $7 million a movie. <laughs> if he could take a crummy movie... Yeah. If he could take a bad movie and make it good, this guy's big. Now they're even talking. And Jim talking kept sending messages. Give it a chance. Yeah. Give it a chance. Yeah, I was no trying one. to tell you guys, please, just go see it. So now. Put a, put a baseball cap on. That's right. So now you have hit it because now people realize that really it was Jim. It wasn't the it director. Was Jim Carrey. Believe me, it wasn't the director. I've seen the, I've seen the editing on that and everything else. Oh, God. I, there were now, moments Tom in there that should have been. Job. Tom did, did an okay. Job. Tom did a, a, a very nice job. Yeah. I would work with Tom, no question. You going to work with him again? Yeah. Well, oh, if okay. I can. Yeah, sure. Then he must have did a good yeah, job. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, no, no. But he really did an okay job. But people say sometimes it's the director, you know, edited it up the right way, made him look funny. Believe me, this was not the case. It was the performance. It was a, perfor it was a low budget affair. It wasn't like they f filled it with special effects or anything. You yeah, saved that movie. Yeah, but we sat down movie. at the beginning you of the movie. You made the money on the movie. All right, it was me. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard for you to say that. <laughs> Damn it. Right. You broke me down. <laughs> so, so now, now all of you get superpowers? He goes nuts. Do you get superpowers? Uh, uh, somewhat, yes. Is he yes. evil? Uh, no. Yeah, he looks evil. Yeah, I don't Basically, know. the mask brings out the suppressed side of your personality. Uh -huh. For me, it's uh, this maniac Fred Astaire on acid lover type. Hmm. So you're a regular guy, like a nebbish. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you get this ancient mask. Right. You put it on and it turns yeah. you into different characters. Yeah, I send away uh, box tops. This will be a hit because I saw the makeup no. and everything. Yeah, it's great. I just find this mask. Where did they find those teeth? Maniac. <laughs> those teeth? Yeah, those are those mine. are Jim's I had, teeth, I had uh, Ryan. I'm for this sorry. show. Yeah, would you mellow out? <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. 
So um, if I wanted to be insulted, I could have gone on Regis and Kathy <laughs> Lee. I was working on a movie called The Condom, where you put it on and it had magical powers. Is that right? But nobody touched it, so <laughs> I guess it's sort of like the mask. The and green then, penis. And after you're done with the mask, then what movie is coming? That's the one they signed for $7 million, yeah, right? Yeah, then I'll do Ace 2 and Mask 2. If they You've already do done one. Dumb and Dumber? Whatever no, wait that, a second. What is, what is the dumb one you did dumber. for New Line for $7 million? Dumb and Dumber. Now, this is a great story. Uh huh. This is the story where now you'd been signed for like $400,000. They had come to you, <laughs> and you wanted to do Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. And you said you would do it for like four hundred grand. Yeah. And they said, nah. I said I would do it for a million, and then... Right, right. They later. said a million, and they went, oh, a million? We're not paying Jim Carrey a million. Who the hell does he think he is? <laughs> then Ace Ventura comes out. They see how good it is. They see how much money. It makes it $52 million the first weekend or right, something. Yeah. And they go, um... Jim, would you do Dumb and Dumber for a million? He goes, you know, screw you. <laughs> so then they had to pay you seven million bucks, right? Yeah, like uh, seven, six days later. Do you get that in one lump check, or do you have to get it in three installments, like the beginning of the movie, the middle of the movie, and then the end of the you movie? You get paid as you go along. Whoa! But yeah. th when you, I mean, can you imagine the pay? Is it three installments? Uh, no, it's weekly. Weekly? It's weekly. So it's like a million dollars a week? Uh, mm -hmm. half a million a week. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> and you start uh, fooling around with the girls oh, on the man. set. Yeah, now what happened? You dumped your wife, and then you dumped your wife. <laughs> yeah, of course. During Ace. He knew. Smart. He knew. You did it during no. Ace before you got the $7 million. Now, that's, a, now that's the smartest thing. Man. How did you know how to do that? Seriously, be honest. Actually, it wasn't a choice. I just I woke up one morning, and I, and I looked, uh, looked over at her, and I thought, you know, I just wish I can do her better? butt what do you was think? hairier. I wish her butt <laughs> was hairier. You wanted a guy. Oh, wow. And I was just changed. <laughs> yeah, Jim, know, Jim was I, smart. I realized that I had been living a lie. Really? You yeah. wanted men? Yes. If no, I no, wanted, he's if going up that. I'd go to the sea aquarium, you know what I mean? Who's that piece of ass you're dating now? What's oh. her name again? I forget her name. Um, <laughs> I forget it, too. Uh, all of a sudden, now this is the best story of all. <laughs> they don't sign him for a sequel oh, for Ace best. Ventura. Yeah. Which they could have gotten you for another four hundred thou. No, you they been... signed me for a sequel for Ace Ventura. Oh, they did. We renegotiated that. Oh, how do you notice, do that? Notice how I stuttered when I said that. <laughs> yeah, right. Renegotiated that. Oh, you did. <laughs> so the point is <laughs> that you. Oh yeah, it was Keanu Reeves <laughs> I was reading about the other day. They didn't sign him for a sequel to Speed. They did sign Jim. Okay. Believe me, they can get anybody to play that stupid movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, now that Keanu Reeves that. now has convinced himself <laughs> he's the reason that Speed. Hey, he's Speed's get a great movie, box. but that's the case where the director made the movie, huh? Your case I, is different. You it made that movie. Me when they're like, uh, you know, <laughs> on the brink of death. Yeah, and no. joking. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, that bothers me too. Yeah. Keanu Reeves is, is this under is a, a bus. crazy situation, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> under a bus and he's joking. Yeah, he's joking. <laughs> he's yeah. got a line. Right. <laughs> Santa Claus is more believable than Keanu Reeves is. <laughs> what are these actor. Firestone tires? <laughs> Keanu Reeves was it was te uh, Bill and Ted's Adventure under a bus. <laughs> it was the same actor, same, no range, nothing. Oh, now listen. He just didn't get to say as much. Right. You're so, crazy, man. You're on the cutting edge. I absolutely <laughs> am. <laughs> right, There's nobody sacred. Me. Listen to me. Yes. Okay. So, you've done well for yourself. Now, all of a sudden, anytime you read anything about you in the papers, how much money you make. Yeah. Because what's going to happen? How poor in, I was. No. What's going to happen in your career now <laughs> is you are going to get movies. Oh, he's gotten them. But you're going to get not only comedies. You're a good serious actor. I can see it in you. You want to be serious? Yeah. You're going to be oh. like a Tom Hanks. You want to like be to him? You could have played that retard <laughs> gump, right? I, that's yeah, do me. your do, that's do me your impression. Ten o'clock in the morning. Do an impression of a retard. Go ahead. My impression of a yeah, retard. Yeah, like Gump, like Gump. Uh, more lead paint, please. See, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> and of course, uh, your well, money. You know, he's going to be in Batman Three. Oh yeah, what's that all about? That might be <laughs> a dog. Taking over the role that Robin Williams Cape dropped. Guy yeah, be around. careful about that one. Why? What's I don't know. Happen? Uh, I don't know. You're like the soothsayer this morning. No, Batman. Val like, Kilmer I coming in as Batman. Danger. That I don't see Val Kilmer as a bad <laughs> Batman. I just <laughs> think they don't know what they're doing with Batman. They don't concentrate enough on I'm the Batman. I'm excited about it, though. I think it, it's it's like it's. Well, you'll like be good three, as the Riddler. Three actors that are kind of like just everybody coming into their own in the last year or so, so. So what do they pay on a Batman? If they're paying you seven million for well, the mask they got you cheap, right? Yeah. The mask looks real good. Yeah. What is that's that about?